It's your girl Jay Wells. We just finished the album review and we finished Ape Shit 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 video reaction. And now there's a single that apparently was not on the album according to Diesel with the track list. It's called Salute. Yeah. Salute. I don't know. So we about to give y'all a reaction. Um album off the album for sure. We had mixed feelings about some of the songs. I gave it an eight point five as the album, you gave it an eight, Creo gave it an eight. Um so I, I kind of hope that they knocked this song out of the park for that reason. Hmm. And what, why didn't they put it on the album? Everything's strategic with them. They release it on the same day as the album, so I'm very interested. Y'all niggas ready fast? Yeah. Probably be some foo foo shit by then. <laughs> Tired of having an overload. That damn video wasn't even planned. Like, Niggas is going ape shit behind this. I know they are. Put it on ice. Celebrate that we made it. I put it on Christ. In Spanish is bless you. The fuck? It's bless you. So I'm assuming salud is like another tense of that, but kind of mean like celebration or something like that. That's how I feel. Mm. I forgot um, that it was Spanish. I don't know why I didn't fucking say that shit initially. How you feel about it so far? I don't know how to feel. Say it. Just waiting on you to say today. I'm just like I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. Was that somebody else on the? Yeah, that was the a guy singing. Let me see if I can get back to where we were. Many comments of certain they swear they know you better than you know yourself. Cause you control yourself. Alright, I'm gonna start it over because I wanna hear what she's saying now. Cause that was a bar of what she just said. How you feel about J-verse? It was cool. It was alright to me. It wasn't as good as the verses from the album. I liked it though. I just wanted it to it be gave a little me, bit longer. I don't you you been tuning to Will Smith lately? No, I haven't. He been rapping lately. Mm -hmm. Um Which is funny as fuck. So this and his verses look even fire. Like this nigga been like rapping in Spanish fluently and shit too. Like half and half type. Flexing, shit. showing but his this level. Is, that's what that reminded me of, like some Will Smith 2018 shit. It wasn't like it wasn't with Jay Gate album. I'm sorry. Jada Pinkett and Will Smith are the other duo that can touch J and B. We said, or I said nobody. I mean, financially, I don't even know if they could. Yeah, they're not all the way there. But just respect-wise and oh, yeah. power moves and success, accolades, for sure, for sure. But, I mean, if we if we just going off of that, respect and power moves, Kanye came up there, too. But for the bag, I don't, they, they, I don't know, bro. I don't think people respect Kanye and Kim as much, or how they respect Jay Z and Beyonce. The way people respect Will and uh, Jada is how they respect Jay Z and Beyonce. It's like a different level of respect. Them niggas. Is just it's like, not a different level. It's just a different respect. That's like, what I'm saying. It's different. But it's not a. It's the same. I feel like it's the same level. It's just different. I don't know. I don't feel that way about Kim and Kanye. Like I have the ultimate respect for Ye musicianship and all of that. But when it comes to their lives and how I view them like the respect i have for them is all the way different it, it levels them down to me because it's almost like just the, the kim aspect of their marriage alone everything she stands for just the whole how i say it like it's fake all of that shit it just to me makes it difficult for me to look at kanye in a way that's like it's almost like he's so low slick side like you, you got the bitch that was this that and the third and i don't know they got black women it's different for me so i feel like the level of respect and the kind of respect is just way different Nah, I feel you. I mean, this song is okay though. Oh dear. Salute. <laughs> Better than you know yourself, but you control yourself. Just to me and you. Salute. Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Kali? For the coke I silo God protect babies and fools I was both It's not just a popular trope Oh Dre from Cool and Dre I'm just a fluke The wind's coming I'm not a fluke They sound like anybody I'm truly the dope So sad The Elohim is divine Like boy you the truth Don't die Angels on both sides Toast with mimosas Your president's tweeting by hope Like he you know us My road to the top Was to take what you owe us I give a fuck what that man Find vulgar Just look in my eyes When he toast us Put it on I like that second verse. From yeah. Jay. I 
I fuck with that second verse. Second verse is hard. I don't know how I feel about the song yet, though. Well, I think I do. It's almost over, I'm about to say. <laughs> it's, uh... I'm just like, don't why... Don't you about to say it sucks. I'm just, cause I'm just like, why didn't y'all put it on the album? What, what made y'all feel like y'all had to release this by itself? Like, it was that fire. Like... Mm -hmm. Strategy you know what I'm saying? Is it a number thing? I was like, nah, we gotta stop at nine because there's something bigger going on, or like, you know what I mean? Have, have y'all noticed that though? That like, like that's been the trend lately. Yeah. Like, J Rock did that. Kanye did that. Now these niggas do that. What? Like low number albums? Nah, just like putting the song out, and then oh, outside that of song album. don't be on the album. I feel like that happened a lot in the past, though. That's been happening since the beginning of time with music. I think we just looking at it like, why? More or less, like, this is some shit that's possibly new, because that shit been going on for forever. It's just, like, the why. Yeah. And like you said, this shit not that fire, so. So, yeah, it's just, it's just weird to me. Like, or maybe they thought this shit was just, nigga, this it. We about to have the world like, salut. <laughs> but you know how I feel when you be in the studio When it should be loud and you be hearing it on repeat You be sold on the fucking songs you be creating No, nah, I feel it but it's just <laughs> At the same time I just feel like They maybe kind of have the same Situation as Eminem Because they be so like Away from what the world is I don't think they're as away from the world as Eminem was Right I'm not saying they, they are as is Like it's the same but they're both They're both away from this shit you know I don't feel like musically they're away at all. I feel like they're very in tune with where music is and sound. Like, compared to Eminem, that nigga was a fucking hermit crab. Like, probably hadn't heard half the albums that came out in the past five years. Type shit. Nah, I ain't gonna play my nigga like that. Um, I mean, you think he's been tuning in? I feel Honestly. like he's been tuned in, probably not to, like, hip-hop like that. But well, he's been I tuned mean, yeah, in, but that's just, what... It was a pop album, it felt like. It felt like some Air Sharin shit mixed with some other shit. Like, I feel like he tuned in to whatever catches him. He not tuned into like black music, but that's what I feel like we're talking about in relation to them being out of it, like not in tune. I'm not just talking about black music though. I'm just talking about like music period, like of what would work and whatever. And I don't with feel them, like they tuned out of what and what, what, what for them. I feel like they probably they really look at it like nigga, we dropping it on our shit. Yeah, I don't feel like that. The whole album just said otherwise. Like we heard a bunch of shit that was a formula of. Other it's, it's as far as the singles. Like they got they dropped a video for Ape Shit. That's not the best song on the album. I I mean yeah, of course not. You know what I'm saying? But Salute. They, they y'all dropped this as an exclusive. Like oh yeah, exclusive. This that this is. Yeah, I mean like I said, I don't know the why, but I don't feel like they're out of tune with not knowing how to make the right kind of sounding songs. Well, not not that as far as like what to release first as like. We dropping this instead of like and maybe because I mean I don't know because they Beyonce just really been dropping albums like she ain't dropped no single like this is my single and I'm dropping an album in a couple months it's just been full project. Well, she hasn't announced anything. They haven't announced anything. But that's what I'm saying. But but she has dropped singles before albums. That's all she's been doing. She ain't been. Dropping I know. An album I'm, I'm talking in the last couple of years though. No, she has. Like Beyonce comes out with singles and then all of a sudden we got a fucking album. Okay. So. So I just I just assumed it was just an album. What was the one before Formation Lemonade? Formation came out way before Lemonade happened. That was Super Bowl. That's when she dropped right. that. And that shit Formation didn't come out is right the one she had all videos for, right? She she's been having all videos for years. She was the first person to do well, not the first, but what year was she, the first one? She was the first person. Remember the first time Beyonce dropped the album and told nobody? She right. came out with a visual album as well. That, right, that's what I'm saying. What what year was that? That was like that was I don't know. That was her Beyond R B album. I don't know what year that was. That was like a couple years. Right, right, but she hasn't been doing what you said though. She didn't drop Albums from that, from that, I feel from like it. she changed. She changed the game, nigga. Everybody right. started doing that. Right. So, I feel like from that, I feel like she haven't really been dropping just a single in my album drop. It's been like they haven't announced anything, album. but she has been doing it. Like hmm. Formation was what kicked off her last album, and that came out before the album did. Word. I thought I thought the shit all came out at once, and Formation was just the one. Mm -mm. She just started dropping all visuals. The, she didn't do it with this album but the last album she put out it was visuals she had been doing that since that one album where she did the all visuals the first time when the release date mm -hmm. but she has been dropping singles opposed to dropping the album and then telling what singles are going to be the singles that's what everybody else has been doing i've been seeing a lot of people just dropping their album and then picking out which, what the singles are but mm. <clears throat> i think we got like a minute left for this shit
Give it a 6.5. I'm not really into it that much. I like the hook. I like Beyonce's vocals. Jay's verses didn't do that much for me. Second verse is better than the first. Um, 6.5. Give that bitch a 6. Give that bitch a 7. Straight 6. Shot. How y'all feel about that joint, man? As a separate release from the whole album. Like, I don't get that what, shit. What would you put that in the album? Last. You close them? Okay. It's a celebration song. It feel like it's the end of everything they talked about. We happy. Mm -hmm. Damn, maybe we should do a video of rearranging the tracks and listening to the album how we would arrange it. We'd have to sit with the album a little bit, though, and get familiar. But I think that would be hard as fuck. And I'm making a playlist straight up. If we do that, it's going to be on Tidal and Spotify and everything else. Y'all motherfuckers better fucking follow and subscribe to that playlist because it's going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how you were saying we should make like our perfect Jay-Z album or like just picking songs from their careers and shit? We might have one we can do that for now. Word. Would y'all be down for that? Salute. The super auto tune. <laughs> we, we gonna leave this shit out of here. It's your girl, J2L. It's your boy, Dizo. Priya. <laughs> <laughs> we out this bitch. Okay.